What keeps you from following God? When it comes to the race of life, a lot of us, we do. We kind of just stop running or we'll say, we'll get back on the... When it comes to the race of... It's a great question. What keeps you from following God? When it comes to the race of life, a lot of us, we do. We kind of just stop running or we'll say, we'll get back on the track later, but we want to do things we want to do. And especially when times get tough, we just kind of tend to stop. And those are the times if we really stop and think about it, God's kind of chiseling away those things that don't really work in our lives. God's chisel. Watch this. Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's workmanship, that we're, in essence, his masterpiece. I don't know about you, but when I get up in the morning and look in the mirror, I don't see a masterpiece, you know? I mean, maybe, maybe a, a Picasso, you know? I don't want to be a masterpiece. I want to be everything that God has created me to be. And so I go to him in prayer and I say, God, do whatever it takes to, to get things out of my life that don't need to be there. Mold me into the image of your son so that I can be your masterpiece. Hi. Whoa. Who are you? I'm God. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, you just said the first, so here I am. That's how it works. Oh, okay, okay. Um, if you're God, then make it snow in here. You know, if I made it snow in here, it'd get kind of yucky, and I really don't want to do this. See, you're not God. Why do you say that? God wouldn't say yucky. Yes, but I do. It's a Greek word. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you're God, what does Lamentations 15, 9 say? Lamentations is a very short book. It only has five chapters. Why is it so short? I was tired of lamenting. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you're God, who's going to win the World Series this year? You know what? I'm not so much into playing games. Why are you so much into playing games? You are God. I gave it away. You answered my question with a question. I did? <laughs> yep, I knew that. Don't I? Yeah, yeah, step right up. Here we go. Okay. All right. Hey, um, what's this about? These are the tools I'm going to use to make you into my original masterpiece. Oh, okay. All right. Hang on. Yeah. I thought you were a carpenter. That's my son. Here we go. Step okay. right up. Here we go. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. How do you know what to chisel and what to leave? I take out all the things in your life that are out of me, kind of like dead weight. Ooh, speaking of that, could you chisel right in here? I just can't get rid of it. I mean, the other went away, but this, I mean, I've tried exercising, I've watched what I ate, I even did Pilates for a while, that was awkward. But if you could chisel, I'd be right on top, or can I chisel top, chisel top, chisel top? No, 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 chisel. All right, most of my children just like to talk. Not me. Bring on the chisel. Here we go. All right. You have a lot of anger. Ow. Some pride. Ow. Compare yourself to others instead of me. Ow. You're lazy, <clears throat> but you pretend like you're really, really busy. You have a problem with lust? Okay, <laughs> time out. <laughs> I do not have a problem with lust. You don't have a problem with lust? No, I can do it anytime I want. Okay. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Um, maybe, maybe we can take a little time out. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good. You are doing good, but when you look in the mirror, who do you see? I see me. Okay, then I need to keep chiseling away because ultimately you and others need to see my son. Here we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't take this the wrong way. It's just that when I start looking more like your son, um, people get uncomfortable around me, you know? I mean, even my friends at church, they're all like, oh, you're holier than that. Why would you do that, you know? I mean, so what you're doing right now is you'd rather play God in certain areas of your life than for me to be God over your whole life. I did not say that. That's what you meant. Yes, it is. It's hard to talk to you. I mean, you know everything I'm thinking. I'm just saying, you done good work. Maybe we take a little break, a little time out, then we'll come back to right. it. What you're doing right now is so common. What you're doing right now is called control. Do you want to control things in your life, or can I chisel? Control, chisel, control. No, no, chisel. Here we go. No, can we chisel where I want to go? It's called control. Okay. You've been holding on to this for a long time. You ready for this? hurts me more than it hurts you. Right. Ah. Ow! I don't think you understand this pain. I don't talk to me about pain. I know all about pain. I sent my son to die on the cross for pain, for sin, but I also did it for another reason, to give you freedom. Do you know what insanity is? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. And there are the things in your life, you even think back to high school that you've been doing that do not work in your life, but you go to these empty wells whenever you're hurting, whenever you're angry, whenever you're lonely and tired, but they do not work. No, no, okay, okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could... Oh, okay, but if we went another 
way. Your ways are not my ways. Okay, well, look, I can't be good. You can't be good. I've made you good. Be good. Uh, uh, what? Nothing. What is it? Then you wouldn't understand. I, God of all the universe, wouldn't understand something one of my children has to say. Try me. I hold you up with my victorious, righteous right hand, and don't you forget that. In this relationship, I hold you up. Okay. Chisel away. All right. But just, just be prepared for what you're going to find in there. Because I know who's inside there. Because God, I get up every morning, and I look at him in the mirror. And it is this... This scared little kid who gets up every day and tries to dress like an adult and act like an adult, but can't. So just be prepared for what you're going to find. You have listened to so many voices for far too long that aren't of me. You think you're junk, don't you? You really, really, really think you're junk. Listen to me. I don't make junk. What does that say about me? How can I show you that my love for you has no boundaries? I know. Reach in your back pocket. What? Reach in your back pocket. Why? Are you arguing with me? Reach in your back pocket. God. Yes? I was just saying, God, I'll do that right now. You were just saying my name in vain. You know what? It, it's, it's a name. It's a saying. It's, it's more it's... than a name. It's more than a saying. It's more than a bad habit. It's a name above all names. I want to teach you something about my name. Reach in your back pocket. You know what that is? This is a page from, from a journal I had when I was younger. How'd you get this? Hello? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, read it. I love Angie Holland. The other side. Sorry. I married her. I was there. Today, I am turning everything over to you. I'm not going to hold on to anything anymore. Your word says that you will make me your masterpiece and use me to do great things. I don't see how it's possible, but I want that with all that I am. So please do whatever it takes to make me what you want. I love you, God. I love you too, Tommy. And I love you too much to leave you where you're at. So this salvation that you hold, don't let it be some sentimental gush or some head knowledge. I want you to work it out in every detail of your life. And don't compare yourself to someone else because that is just trivial nonsense. You are my original masterpiece. You are one of my workmanship and you might find favor. This, don't look at this as a prison, but look at this as a, a father disciplined his child. A father disciplines the ones he loves. I know, but it's going to be tough. Yes, it'll be tough. But you bought into the lie, thinking everything was going to be easy when you said yes to me. It's not how it works. I want you to do something. I want you to look out there, and I want you to say, Tommy is God's original masterpiece. Tommy? No, 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 no. The way you see yourself, or you yearn so much for others to see you. But the way I see you. Tommy is God's original masterpiece. Yes, you are. And so are you. God doesn't make junk. You are an original masterpiece. So no matter where you are today, we hope that you'll understand the simple truth that you are God's original masterpiece. So when things seem tough, when you seem hard-pressed on every side and you're thinking, I just want to quit, I don't want to run the race anymore, maybe those are the times that God has chiseled away to form great character in you. You know, King David, he had great strengths, he had weaknesses, he had many failures, many successes. In Acts 13, 36, it says this, that King David served his purpose for his generation before he died. 
what are they going to say about you? Run the race, finish strong, because the greatest compliment that you will ever hear is when you get to heaven and you hear God say, well done, good and faithful servant. So we want to encourage you, run the race. Thanks for spending time with us today. We'll see you next time on Laugh.